I have been broke and I've been broke broke. Let me teach you the difference. Broke means I have no money, but I get paid Friday. Raise your hand if you've been broke. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Raise your hand if you've ever been broke broke. Let me teach you the difference. Broke broke means I'm busted, I got no money, and I have no clue when the next lot of money is coming in. Raise your hand if you've ever been broke broke. Oh, talk back to me. Right now, my wife, we've been broke, we've been broke broke, but now we live in legacy. Now we live in legacy. What does that mean? It's not even about money anymore. I don't make decisions based on what I can afford. We finally got to a place that we just make decisions based on what we want to do. Raise your hand if you're willing to fight to get to legacy phase. Come on, I didn't come for everybody. I came for some of you who realize that you are meant for more. Once you hear my story, you will understand if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. But it all was activated when I made up my mind that I am meant for more. Until you believe you are meant for more, you're going to be stuck. Until you believe you are meant for more, your business is going to be the same. Until you are really convinced you are meant for more, you will not take action. So what I want to do today is give you the science of high achievement. I figured out on my journey to the NBA how to become a high achiever. When I got done playing professional sports, the checking account was dwindling. My wife was scared. I was scared. And that's when I realized everything I learned on the way to the NBA can be applied to something else. In three years, we applied the science of high achievement to the speaking business. And in three years, we doubled our NBA income. We kept applying the science of high achievement. In 15 years, I became a Hall of Fame motivational speaker. People came to me and said, man, we've never seen a speaker grow so fast. What's your secret, Mr. Motivational Speaker? What's your secret, Mr. Motivational Speaker? I thought to myself, I don't have a secret. I'm just being me. If you really think about it, success boils down to think, execute, win. Think, execute, win. So that realtor that's outproducing you just thinks better than you. That realtor that outproduces you just executes better than you. That realtor who's outproducing you is winning better than you, but it all begins with their thinking. And today we're going to talk about mindset. But the only way I made it to the NBA, I had to become fundamentally sound. I had to dribble like an NBA ball player. I had to shoot like an NBA ball player. I had to rebound like an NBA ball player. I had to jump like an NBA ball player. I had to run like an NBA ball player. I had to think like an NBA ball player. It took me 15 years to become. I want you to look at time very different. Isn't it worth a year of your time to become? Time flies. So isn't it worth you committing to a system or a process to help you become and get to your next level where you can have more freedom, more time, more respect, self-respect? See, if you look at time the right way, you realize how much time you've been wasting staying the same. In fact, you can change your physical body in 90 days. Do you guys agree? You can almost totally change how you look in 90 days. If you commit it to 90 days, you can transform your body in 90 days if you commit it and understood time. Now, Krispy Kreme's still gonna be open. <laughs> but if you commit to time, you can get exactly what you want. Is everybody with me? I made it to the NBA because I committed 15 years of my life just to get there. I had another other peers who were just as good, just as talented. Some were more talented, but they weren't committed. 
So I'm going to help you discover how committed you really are today. Does that make sense? If you realize I'm not committed, I need to get committed. Now that's an opportunity to transform your life. When you become a high achiever or a peak performer, you make a whole lot of money. Raise your hand if you want to make more money. <laughs> when, when, when you become elite, you have total control of your life. I wake up in the morning and I do what the blank I want to do. And sometimes I do nothing. Why? Because I have freedom. Who would love more freedom? Don't, don't, don't you want to experience what it's all about to live amongst the elites? My wife and I live in a neighborhood in South Florida with six billionaires. Some days I go through the gate and tears just stream down my face. And I ask the question, how in the heck did I get in here? <laughs> I mean, the founder of Home Depot is my neighbor. Think about that. But my success did not happen in the NBA. I barely made it. I was frustrated. I was angry. I was disappointed. But now I realize that my journey was for you. My journey was for your family. I flunked out my first high school. And now I sit on corporate boards. I never started on my college basketball team. But I was the first ever undrafted rookie free agent in the history of the Dallas Mavericks to start open tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been down on the ground before. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been in holes myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I have cried myself to sleep. Frustrated that I'm meant for more but I didn't know how to get it. I was meant for more, but initially I didn't know how to access it. Now those tears of joy, now those tears of pain have been transformed into tears of joy. My father was a high school principal, 6'6", 240 pounds. Country boy from Tennessee, grew up in the South, moved to Chicago, raised his family, and my father was old school. No nonsense, no excuses, just get it done. And his message was simple. Go get it, son, go get it! Go get it, son! Go get it! I use colored restrooms. I use colored water fountains. My dad was a ball player, and he told me after the games, the white players would go into the restaurant and eat, and the black players, who were the best players, had to wait on the bus. And after the white players got finished eating, they would get the food to go. My father said I was on that bus starving. And they'd take their own little sweet time. But let me tell you something. I ain't let that stop me. Go get it, son! Go get it. Mom and dad were our first teachers. Mom and dad were our first coaches. To be honest, some of us could coach better than others when we were young, does that make sense? My coaches had two core values. Be sweet, baby, be sweet. Go get it, son, go get it! Be sweet, baby. Be sweet. Go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Be sweet. Go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet. 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 Go get it. I got brainwashed. And that's what great coaches do. They keep coaching you until you think different. They keep coaching you until your value system changes. They keep coaching you until you think better, until you execute better, until you win better. Is everybody with me? Raise your hand if you would love to leave a legacy. Raise your hand and keep them up if you would love to live a life where you make decisions for your family, not based on what you can afford, but based on what the hell you want to do.